Hello boys and girls and parents. Today we're going to go over some of the directions for taking the STAR math and reading tests. It is of the utmost importance that students have their login information with them when they are taking their tests. Students' username is the first part of their EPISD email address without at episd.org. Their password is their date of birth four-digit year, two-digit month, two-digit day. To get started, you will need to find class link for EPISD. If you are using a desktop computer or a laptop, you can go to https colon backslash backslash launchpad dot class link dot com backslash EPISD. If you are using one of the iPads from the school, you will need to download Class Link from your self service app. Once you are in self service, you will look for the Class Link app to install. Students will be logged into Zoom while they are taking their test. I will be assigning students to breakout rooms and there will be adults from the campus there to support students if they need assistance. Ensure that once you are in ClassLink that it looks like this, that it says EPISD Plaza ClassLink. That will let you know you're in the correct place. Next, we will go ahead and log in. You will log in using your EPISD email address as your username. Be sure to only use the first part of your EPISD email address. Do not put at episd.org, only the first part. Then you will put in your password. Your password is your date of birth, just like you use to log in to other things for EPISD. Four digit year, two digit month, two digit day. Then you will go ahead and log in. Next, you will look for the Renaissance link. It'll have an R and it looks kind of blue, green, and gray. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to click on that Renaissance link to go to Renaissance. For many of you, this might be your first time logging into Renaissance this school year. So you may need to go ahead and log in one more time using the first part of your EPISD email address and your password. This week we will be taking two tests. First will be the star math with a little red tab in the corner. Next we will take the star reading with the little blue tab in the corner. Please note students will need paper and pencil for their math test. There will be computations that they will need to do that will be a little bigger than what they can do in their head. So it will be very supportive if they have paper and pencil to help. First, let's take a look at the STAR math test. Once you are in, you will go ahead and you will select Attendance, the one with the letter A. There is one on top, that's not the one we're going to use. We're going to use the one with the letter A, Attendance. Click on it and then click Next. Then we will go ahead and tap the blue Start button. And then we will begin our test with some practice questions. The first one says 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. So I'm going to pick 3 and then the blue button next. How many boxes are there? I'm going to count the boxes. One, two, three. I need to find the number three and then click next. Two plus three. Two plus three is five. So let me look at my answers. I have two 
that's not right. Three, that's not right either. Four, mm-mm. And the last one says, not here. So I'm going to pick D because five is not there and five is the answer. Now it will take me to my test. Students, make sure that before you click the next button that your answer choice is highlighted blue. It should look blue around it. Once you know that it looks blue around it, then you may go ahead and tap the next button to go on to the next question. Pay attention if there is a clock that appears at the top of your window. The clock means that time is running out for that question and you may want to go ahead and pick your answer choice quickly. I am not saying to rush boys and girls, but I am saying if you see this clock pop up to please go ahead and tap your answer. If you are having problems with the practice questions, this window will pop up saying the practice is over. Please ask the monitor to help you the next time you practice. It is very important that you let the grown-up who is in your breakout group know that this has popped up. That way, that grown-up can help you out with whatever problem you are having with the practice test. Now, boys and girls, you will be in breakout rooms to take your test, and there will be a grown-up there to help you from the school. So we don't disturb our other friends, let's make sure we use our emojis, our Zoom reactions to help us let those grown-ups know when we need help or when we are done. If you need help, boys and girls, let's use our clapping emoji. Right? Unless you know how to find your raise your hand button, just use your clapping emoji to let that adult know that you need help so you don't disturb your friends. When you are finished, let's use our thumbs up emoji to show that we are done with our test because once again, we do not want to disturb our friends who are still taking their test and trying their best. Boys and girls, most of all with this test, please remember to read very carefully and choose the best answer that you feel might be correct. There may be some questions on here that you do not know or do not know the answer to. That is okay. Just try your best. This test is to help me and your teacher know what it is that we need to help you with. So as long as you try your best, you will do your best on this test. Grown-ups, parents, please be there to help your student to log in to the program and to help them select the first test that they need to take for that day. We do ask that you do not assist the students with the tests because we need to use this test to help us find out what type of support your student needs so they can be successful in school. Good luck and try your best. I know you all will do a wonderful job.